The weekend of the Canadian Premier League rolls along here in our nation's capital. In the heart of the Glebe, we find Lansdowne Park. They make three changes today. The biggest, most notable, is the return of Nate Ingham in between the sticks. A couple of changes in their team. In fact, there are four outfield changes. That is the return of Nima Moazene Zade into the six. Long oh, diagonal ball, Bassett receives, Howarth ready for an overlap, Bassett plays in that direction, here's Howarth, low cross in, and denied at the stick, following up Salter, Ottawa never gives up on the play, and Vancouver can't clear their penalty area, and the home side makes them pay, and has been relentless from the opening whistles for Atletico Ottawa, and it looked like Maybe a match-defining save for Vancouver on the back foot. That final clearance though lacks, and Sam Salter gets his second of the year, again scoring against BFC. And here's an individual that can help do that. Drops it. Creating the separation on Tyler Crawford. Pass it to the middle. Acosta now. Pass it over for Salter. Failed himself at the moment. Gets jammed again. Gives it up. Now for Hoven. Whoa! A big pass. Cal Hoven not to be beat for a second time in three minutes. Okay, get on, get on, make a big stop. Referees aren't watching for that these days. Update from Halifax. 1-1. 15 minutes into the game, and if you're looking to tune in or you want to go second screen, free on the One Soccer YouTube channel of Nigel Reed and Will Cromack. Power, brilliant cross, that's clever. Here's Bassett, tries to sneak that from the tightest of angles. Well, that's options. Howard starts to accelerate. Selter waiting to be played. Never is. Instead, they find Bassett in the middle. Just loses the handle. Verhoeven still moves forward. And then it's a bit catastrophic at the back. And they can't clear. It's Howard. Irving's trying to find his post. Howard's going to test him. Bassett. That's a tasty looking ball. It's going to sit for Howard. Carl Howard. Sidewinder. Selter on the rebound. Espejo denied. Still Espejo. And Irving able to make the catch. Well, when it gets undone, it gets wildly undone for Vancouver. They escape without conceding. And Ten meters back to the wall is March Ingham positioning it where he wants it. What should be the final play of the half and a chance for Vancouver to equalize. Sandoval goes up, finds the top netting just inches above the woodwork. Now Singh with the lane. Tiso completely unmarked. Cameron flares wide. Tiso a high cross for Bassett. Across for Hoven. It was high. He did well just to get a piece of his body on it. Another golden opportunity for Atletico Ottawa. Verhoeven into the box. Salter, a piece, and he's unmarked. Sam Salter had a free header to make it 2 0. It's Sandoval's turn. Into the mixer. Bakari goes up. Just and only just above the woodwork. Carl Wimet. Acosta sprinting through the center of the park. Here's Johnny Dos Santos. Tiso. Maxime Tiso off the post. If the score lines in both of these matches hold, it will once again become the Canadian Parity League. There's Verhoeven. Low to Dos Santos. Johnny Dos Santos also misses that back stick. They go low and back to Batar. Batar weaving through. Gabby Batar can't get the ball back. It is chaos in front of goal, not clear. Crawford has it blocked by Antonoro. And that is full time for Atletico Ottawa. Before the second consecutive match at TD Place. I've come away with the full three points at home, starting to make this a really difficult place for opposition teams to come in and play once again.